This private resort in Barangay Kiling in Talisay, Batangas, near the Taal Lake, has no guests nor personnel. Its gates locked. Tao po. Tao po. All of its staff have already evacuated in anticipation of the Al's eruption. Pagprotection rin po ng tao kasi hindi hindi po natin talaga mapipredik yung lagay ng ng bulkan. Maaring surprise, maaring may abiso galing sa pibox. Pero siguro mas maganda na rin po yung handa. The resort canceled all its bookings for the month of July as a result of its temporary closure. Sabi ko naman po sa kanila, if ever mag-okay at bumaba yung level ng vulkan, maybe matuloy sila. Pero sabi ko, aabisuhin, aabisuhan ko na rin po sila. Mm -hmm. It was only in May this year when the hotel reopened to tourists following the volcano's eruption and the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. No one can tell when they'll be able to bounce back from their losses. Sa ngayon, hindi ko po po masabi kasi nakikiramdam din po kami. Ma'am, so paano po yung mga staff niya, ma'am? Uh, wala po. Hindi po, hindi po po mapasok. This resort in Barangay Banga, however, remains open but is still not frequented by guests. But its manager said, around 10 bookings for this week have also been cancelled by vacationers. Sabi nila, uh, hindi naman kami tutuloy dahil nang syempre, kahit sino naman, syempre, yung mga taga nga, umaalis, eh, na naman pupunta dito, ganun. Okay. Iyon, natatakot din sila. Tourism activities like boat rides have also been suspended since last year. Paano malaking kabawasan, ma'am? Talaga uh, Wala nang uh, nagpunta sa island. Okay. Ganun, syempre, kabawasan din yung sakita namin. There are around 30 resorts in Talisay, Batangas, but only around 5 were allowed to operate under the current quarantine guidelines. Kailangan namin sumunod ang dato ng P-Box dahil nang ito ay para sa kaligtasan ng lahat. Sa boating kasi, hindi natin mapredik kung kailan talaga siya sasabog. Then, uh, ang pinangambahan din namin is yung uh, pagtataas ng sulfur dioxide. The LGU said evacuation plans are in place should Taal's unrest intensify, even though they are not yet gravely affected. To date, the volcano remains under alert level 3. Wala pa namang kaming paghihigpit dahil nang, uh, ang apektado naman ay yung talagang dalawang bayan na nakapaligid dito sa Taal Volcano. So far, naapektohan din naman kami. Pero yung hindi ganun kalala yung sulfur dioxide na duma dumaan dito sa bayan ng Talisay. Local officials are calling on residents to remain alert amid the Al's unrest. For News 5, JC Cosico, We Are One News.